school football playoff time is always exciting, but one game this weekend produced a scary situation. A star player dropping on the sidelines and emergency personnel jumping into action. Fox 9's Alex Lehner joining us with the latest. At last we heard Zach was still in a medically induced coma. Now this news rocking the Hill Murray community far beyond just the football field and they are really responding tonight trying to help out the family in any way they can. It was Zach Zarambinski's last game of his last year of high school. Zach was coming off the field after a punt. He came to the bench. He started to throw up and then he passed out and fell off the bench. According to St. Paul EMTs, it wasn't long after the senior defensive player started having seizures. It wasn't after a hit, but he just he came off the field, said he had a headache, so our trainers were on the spot, and within four minutes, uh, he had a seizure. Jordan Wright was there watching his brother Ethan play when it all happened. You could hear the, the trainers yelling, is anybody a doctor, and people yelling, call 911. You never expect it to happen to your own team. EMTs immediately responded and rushed Zach off the field. He was taken to a hospital where he had to have emergency surgery. We just started playing for him. That was about it. But we, we just kept thinking about him since it was his final game, too, as a senior. Ethan says it didn't feel like enough just to play for him. The Wright boys wanted to do more. Well, Ethan was so devastated, and he approached me later that night. and. We were thinking of ways we bounced back of how we could help out, and we knew that there was going to be expenses along the way. And just decided to start a GoFundMe. A GoFundMe that in less than 24 hours raised more than $10,000. Football's a team game, you know, and the guys, they're, they know each other and they're friends on a different level. And um, you can see the love that they have for each other and their teammates uh, all throughout that process. The Wrights say that there will be a school-wide prayer held in the chapel here at Hill Murray tomorrow right around 2.30. And if you want more information on the GoFundMe, just visit our website. Reporting at Hill Murray, Alex Lehner, Fox 9.